My name is Neil Davis and I'm a service user of CGM and I'm here to talk about Black History Month and what it means to me to be a black man in treatment today and how we can help improve the treatment in people of colour. Black History Month means to me is the recognition of how black people of most of the world we live in today. Throughout the, throughout the history we've had people who have engaged to improve how black people are seen in the world today and to have our voices heard in a positive way, either through Martin Luther King up until present day Barack Obama. Throughout history, history has shown that black people have been a positive force in how the world is known today and how we should engage in each race and each person in the same way. Now my story is a story that starts off uh, through a traumatic event that only my mother knew about and eventually when she passed away it spiraled out of control and I became a drug user. Um, when you become a drug user you think that you have control over a drug, you don't. The drug has control over you and when you think you have control over a drug that's when you are on this downward spiral which has led me to be where I am today. Um, when I first fell into drugs, I fell straight into crime, um, which brought me straight to prison, as there weren't a lot of service providers there at the time. When I first got to a service provider, it wasn't catered towards me personally, as I was a black man in need of someone who could engage and find out the inner roots of what was going on, and also understand that through our community, um, it, it was very hard for me to express myself, but all I got was basically just a prescription and I see you in a month's time, which wasn't the greatest thing, but it was something. It's only through later, later life um, and through the service provider I'm with now that I was able to engage with um, a positive um, key worker who was able to engage with me and help me to achieve that I am a black man of power who is beautiful, who is strong, who is intelligent, who can achieve great things if only he was to believe in himself. I also want to talk about how we need to improve it because I'm a person of colour. I think it's got to do, do with trust. If we don't trust the people we're talking to, we're not going to engage. Now, during my time in service provide in treatment, I had several workers and the reason why I didn't engage with most of them because I knew they weren't going to be around for very long. So obviously I just told them what I need to hear just so I get out of there. Now, you could say that as, but how, but surely you're not engaging, so how are they going to help you? But how can it help me when they're going to be passed on to someone new and tell my story over again? You need to be able to trust your worker, trust who you're talking to, so you can finally open up and give them information until they can try and help you and guide you. So if I, my recommendation to you to help people of colour is just to take time and to give them a work that you know is going to be able to engage them for a while. Otherwise, it's just going to be a case of, I'll tell you what you want to hear and I'll be out of there. Thank you.